Hi, Stuart Sterling here and here's a quick little video tutorial uh, about how to remove your subscribe uh, sorry your unsubscribers and your inactive uh, leads uh, from your lists in Aweber um, and there's a couple of reasons why you want to do this uh, first Aweber charges you um, on the number of leads that you have uh, on your lists and that includes the unsubscribers um, obviously you know once people unsubscribe they don't get your emails anymore but uh, Aweber still stores them um, I'm not exactly sure why but uh, maybe you know for, <laughs> for your for your own reference or something but anyway so you want to remove them so you don't have to keep paying for them and um, you want to remove uh, inactive leads because you know if they haven't opened your email uh, for you know 60 or 90 or you know six months um, uh, you know they're not they're not much use to you they're probably not gonna uh, decide to start opening um, your emails and start reading again and most of the time you know those uh, emails that are inactive have been fake emails that those people have put in just to access your free stuff or whatever so um, let's get into it um, I'm logged in to my Aweber account as you can see and um, I've chosen to show you uh, the demo in this list um, so you know you choose your list here as usual and I've gone to subscribers and the search page and um, this is what you see so I've got uh, 508 subscribers right now on this list um, but if you select unsubscribed from the drop down uh, you can see I've got 46 unsubscribers and so all we have to do here is tick that erase box and hit save and that will get rid of them um, okay so that's that's gotten rid of the unsubscribe leads now if we want to uh, remove all the emails of the people who haven't um, opened an email or clicked a link uh, I think it's easier to um, to remove the ones who haven't opened emails because uh, removing people that haven't clicked is, is a little more technical so I'll show you how to um, uh, remove those people who haven't opened emails in say four months so in this in this uh, drop down here uh, you'll see okay no opens right down the bottom no opens since let's say let's do four months that's uh, plenty of time <laughs> you know if someone hasn't read or opened your email for four months um, you know that, that's pretty much a uh, good indication they're no longer interested or the emails no longer working so it's November now um, go back four months uh, so July say end of July oh yeah okay end of July uh, not open since end of July and they were added date added is before that time okay so they were added before the end of July and they haven't opened it since that same time so let's search for how many people are like that wow okay 308 that is a lot <laughs> But um, you know, it's it's probably about right because you know uh, when you send an email, um, you only usually get about ten percent open rate. So you know, on average, and those ten percent are probably the same ten percent that open your email every time. Um, you know, so there's ninety percent of those people who have never 
opened your email. So pretty much um, you can write all these emails off. So uh, let's do it, hey? Let's get rid of this dead word. So again, just like uh, deleting the unsubscribers, tick uh, the top erase box and it will uh, put a tick for all of these. That then down the bottom. Uh, one thing, um, by default it will be set to 20, but if you click the 100 it will show 100 per page. So you can click that and then we hit save and it will remove all of these guys. And we'll have to do it about four times. So Aweber should be doing its thing. Hang on. Did it untick itself? Here we go. Try again. Alright, hit save. Okay. Do it again for these guys. These guys are uh, signed up to one of my affiliate lists, so uh, so long. All right, all of those um, inactive subscribers um, are now gone, and my list is a lot cleaner. I've got probably about 150. Um, left on that list and all of those people have opened my email in the last four months. Um, you know, probably that's even too long. I really should uh, clean it out. Um, probably, you know, uh, 90 to 120 days. So like, um, yeah, three months maybe, maybe maximum and then do, do the same thing every three months do this process of cleaning out and purging um, dead leads. Otherwise, um, you're paying Aweber um, to store them. And, um, you know, dead leads aren't making you any money. So if they're costing you money, that's that's uh, not a good thing. So, okay. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope uh, it helps you with your email marketing. I'm Stuart Sterling, I'll catch you in the next video.